Hello everyone, this is Ultimate X Exe, and today I'll be doing a review of Faldromon. Actually, it's Gardromon, which digivolves or Cholshinkas into Andromon, but I deem this name more appropriate because he can't really stand up. Hence the fact that he's falling over. So you're going to see my hands quite a bit during this review. As he's finally stood up, well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and point out a couple things about this guy while he's still standing up. Okay, basically, you look at him from the front, he's pretty good. His uh, arms move around, mostly for transformation purposes. His hands, they twist. Not okay, they don't. He doesn't really have a neck. His legs are, like, just there. His uh, ankles are, like, pretty good. You can pose them just about any way. He has double feet, which is a unique feature that's only found in a few Digimon, in the fact that it's only used for transformation purposes. And other than that, he's okay. He's standing up again, so uh, take a good look at him, because he's going to fall down. Just to prove it, I'm going to blow on him. He's going to fall over. See, falls over. At any rate, for transformation purposes, this guy's pretty simple. I don't know why they really made him, as there was never really a main character in the series of Digimon Tamers that like transformed as much as this guy does. I mean, Andromon transformed at first. Well, he turned into Gurdramon after he lost a lousy battle against a snake thingy. But other than that, there's no real need for this guy, story-wise. If you're not careful, his uh, waist could break. I had a problem with that. Had to repair him. But you just support the waist, and then you pull the legs down, and your figure's not going to break. It's pretty sturdy. Twist him around. Separate his arms, which were connected up here, but have a tendency to fall down. They separate apart. Just leave them there. And then twist the legs around, like so, all the time supporting his waist, which is his weak point. And rather the only weak point of this entire figure, and its design flaws. Next, pull this up, like so, pull it back, and there's Andromon for you. Slide his hands out, and he's good to go. As for the rest of Gardromon, flip him around. And I'm not sure if you can see this correctly, but in the back over here, transforming him is pretty simple. Push the hands in, push these things up, so the uh, silver part disappears, without breaking the figure, hopefully. That's in, and then you just rotate these things around, push these things in, or rather rotate them. With the joints, in effect, it's pretty awkward. Slide them in, get them to lock into place, rotate them even further. And they're eventually stuck back there. These things right here, just doing nothing. This thing falls back, he has like a backpack on. And uh, Digivolution pretty much complete now. Push this down a bit to get his waist out. With that random belt, it'll click into place. And that's Andromon. And, uh... That's as close as he'll ever get to standing. I mean, I'm just going to hold him from his head right now so you can see the rest of him. It's really like a caterpillar coming out of a chrysalis... A butterfly coming out of a chrysalis with Andromon being a chrysalis. Or something like that. All the Andromon parts are uh, on his the back of his legs and over here. And, or rather the Gardramon parts, and the Andromon parts just right there. So he's fairly simple figure, articulation not too good. He's kind of like Cyberdrome on that effect, and that takes care of everything. His neck doesn't twist either, so this is Ultimate XXA, and his knees bend. But other than that, he's pretty simple. Subscribe, comment, do whatever you want. See you later.